In this video, I'm going to be giving you six actionable tips to increase your organic click-through rate. In other words, if you're not getting enough clicks to your website from organic search results, today you're going to walk away with six tips you can implement right away to get more traffic to your site. Now, why should you care about organic click-through rate? Let's say you created an amazing blog post with great tips and contents about how to get rid of termites in Houston. And this is a real life example. Now, your prospective client is searching exactly that question on Google search. However, you don't show up in the results at all. Why? Because your click-through rate is low. Your organic position on Google will be low as well. To increase your organic ranking, you need to have a higher click-through rate. On top of that, pages with higher click-through rate tend to have a higher conversion rate as well because you're matching what your people is searching. A conversion can be someone visiting your blog and filling out a contact form, giving you a phone call, booking an appointment, or making a purchase, whatever you consider a conversion. So today's tip is going to work with any industry. You can be a lawyer, you can be in the manufacturing, construction. If you're a business owner, a solopreneur, or a marketing manager looking to improve your organic search click-through rate to your website, then you are in the right place. But wait, before we jump into the six actionable tips, you need to identify your lowest click-through rate pages or growth. Make sense? So you'll know what optimize, right? To do that, you need to first go to Google Search Console and download your search analytics data. So once you identify which pages you need to optimize, choose the one that you are going to work on and choose one or all the tips that I'm gonna be sharing on this video. Ready? Let's improve your organic click-through rate. First, check the title. Check the title of your page or check the title of your blog post and get rid of all those over excessive, super extremely heavy keyword title format. Was that too much? <laughs> Use your keyword once. Better yet, choose a long tail keyword and use it once. That's it. You don't have to overdo it. Simplicity is key. Go to your page or blog title and change it there. Make sure your title is emotional and relatable. And sometimes, if, especially for blog posts, it makes sense to add numbers too. For example, let's say the keyword is paving company Houston. An over excessive, super extremely heavy keyword title can be Houston paving construction dash asphalt paving Houston dash concrete paving. Instead, you can try Houston paving company dash asphalt and concrete dash we handle it all or Houston Paving Company dash same day consultation or asphalt and concrete paving company done right the first time. Okay, so what if you wrote a blog about it, right? Numbers are great. Your title could be five tips to choose the best asphalt and concrete company or the three unseen dangers of paving done or seven things paving companies should never do in Houston. I can keep going, but let's jump to the second actionable item to increase your click-through rate. Change the meta description of your page or blog post. Google will automatically take a snippet of your page if you don't manually add one. However, it can dramatically increase your click-through rate if in less than 160 characters you can describe what they can expect to find once they click on your page. Got it? So meta description number two. Number three, use descriptive URLs or links. For example, I wrote a blog about the latest Google updates. Instead of my blog generating an automatic URL like portalagency.com slash 12345, I manually change it and created one that can be easily read, like portalagency.com slash Google Update or Google Dash Update. All right, number four, visual content. Imagine that you don't have like a, a blog with images. Like how boring would that be 
if we just read content and content and we just scrolling and scrolling and we just look at content. Images are worth a thousand words. And it sounds very obvious, right, to add pictures. Adding pictures to your blog and pages is something that I hope you're already doing. And it's great that you added images to your page or blog. But remember that adding pictures and images is not all. If that image doesn't have any keywords, then you are kind of like just adding them because they look pretty. Don't get me wrong. I mean, adding pictures to your blogs or pages will increase your engagement. Images play a big part in your website for engagement and conversion, but also they play a big part in being included in info boxes in Google search results. You know how sometimes you're searching for something and before you even see the organic results, you see images answering the question? Well, that could be your image one day. Number five, test headlines. You can do A-B testing for your headlines using your social media pages. So, for example, you can run an ad on Facebook or Google. Simply use the same uh, link to your blog and basically just create multiple titles and run an ad and then just compare the results. Number five is very straightforward. And last but not least, number six, optimize your site speed. The page speed is very important. If your website is not loading, it's not loading fast enough, and your bounce rate is through the roof, meaning people, they don't spend or they don't wait for your page to load or they just go back to the search, then your ranking is gonna go down. I actually wrote a blog about that, so make sure you visit my website and uh, read the blog about it. You can also check how fast your website is if you go to Google Page Speed Insights and you can just do it for free. And if you don't have a web developer or if you already have a web developer, just send them that link, literally the results and they can fix everything there. All right, so there you have it. Those are the six actionable tips. Number one, get rid of the heavy keyword titles. Number two, change or add meta descriptions. Number three, create a descriptive or short URLs. Number four, add visual content with keywords. Number five, test the headlines. And number six, optimize your page speed. Remember that the main reason you wanna improve your organic click-through rate is so you can increase traffic to your website. And increasing that traffic to your website is going to increase the overall ranking of your website. So the more visitors you have, the more opportunities to convert those visitors into paying customers. So understanding the basics of marketing, search engine optimization, will help you make a better decision to either choose a marketing agency, hire a marketing manager or a marketing coordinator for your company. Or if you're not there yet, these tips will definitely help you make changes right away to increase traffic to your website. There's really no secret formula. Marketing is like an investment. You have to make changes little by little. Like if you optimize your strategy little by little, you will generate leads online. The key is to know your audience. 